it's kind of been forced upon us. It's kind of like, I feel like we've been kicked out, so. Right. In other words, we don't matter. <laughs> Ron Geisinger and his husband, Bob Salmon, have been attending the St. Thomas More Newman Center since they were students at OSU in the late 70s. Newman is kind of like a big part of our lives because um, we were both raised Catholic. Ron and Bob are just two of hundreds of community members that are upset with the removal of the Paulus Fathers by Bishop Earl Fernandez. If you were there last Sunday, there was a lot of crying. Yeah. A lot of crying. Geisinger says with the Paulus Fathers leading, the Newman Center was known to be more progressive than other ministries and accepting of the LGBTQ plus community. It's shocking and it's sad. I feel it's almost like spiritual bullying. In a proposed agreement between the diocese and the Paulist Fathers that was provided to 10TV, it states there would be more involvements, including the ministry Courage International. Their website states, quote, Courage members are men and women who experience same-sex attractions and who have made a commitment to strive for chastity. I spoke with Jason Mays, the director of communications here at the Newman Center, who tells me the decision has nothing to do with any anti-LGBTQ plus sentiment or political agenda. He says it was solely based on Bishop Fernandez's pastoral priorities. Addie Natalie and her family have been attending the center for over 22 years. She says they stopped their monetary donations in hopes of getting the ministry's attention. The removal of the Paulist Fathers will mean the messaging that's provided is very conservative and limited. And there's just, I think, less freedom to be yourself. Addie says she, like many others, want an explanation and want to be part of the conversation. The first time in my life, um, I don't know where I'm gonna go. And as for Ron and Bob. I don't know if we'll stay in the Catholic faith. I mean, which is which is sad because it's part of our DNA. It's how we were raised. In Columbus, Ashley Bornanson. In my ideal world, he would reconsider his decision. 10TV News.